Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, I'm finally sitting down and doing a little bit more of an in-depth review of the new glaze collection from Pink. You guys, look at this. Yes, this glaze collection. I've had a little bit more time to kind of get to know them a little bit more, how well they wear, what they end up smelling like after all, they, the dry down especially, and we are going to get into all of that. Before we get too much further, of course, today's look is by me, Banger Beauty by Mary. I am wearing Mimosa Mingle. Yes, brunch season, baby, brunch season. Take advantage of that before the weather changes, girl. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I love this one. It has a real kind of like a, it's a sheer color, but it's got a slight coral tint to it. I mean, very slight, a lot of shimmer in it, and it smells and tastes like a mimosa. You can't go wrong. You can't. Get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and check out Mimosa Mingle. She's part of that Baddies Brunch collection, and uh, let's get into this video. Okay. The first one I want to talk about is probably my favorite of the collection. It is Glazed Vanilla and Dreamy. You guys, you know I love me some vanilla. Scent notes are Vanilla Donut, Coconut Creme, and Soft Caramel. It says a candy-coated vanilla twist, super dose of icing. The one thing I do not like about these pink sprayers the sprays it shoots out like a water gun look at this okay well that one's not as bad but some of them are really bad and it just drives me nuts i really wish pink i hope you're listening that uh y'all do something about that because it's it's, it's it's a little wonky it's a little wonky oh i already smell it it's so good you guys if you've been looking for a really gourmand vanilla like gourmand gourmand glazed Vanilla Dreamy. I'm telling you, superb. You definitely get like donuts and a little bit of coconut. It's not a lot. It's like a Chantilly creme coconut, which is gorgeous, super creamy. You get a lot of vanilla and caramel in it. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous vanilla. I'm very much in love with it. And the longevity on this one, I did notice, is about two to three hours of wear. It's not the best, but not the worst. I will say that. Oh, my God. It's so freaking good. Like, it literally smells like doughy, like donut doughy. It is amazing, absolutely amazing. I highly recommend Glazed Vanilla and Dreamy. You definitely want to check this one out, especially if you love vanilla scents. Now this next one is Glazed Warm and Cozy. I've always been a big fan of Warm and Cozy. I just like the DNA of it. Scent notes on this one. Pink passion fruit, coconut sugar, and fluffy marshmallow. It says a berry glazed, super fruity sugar cube of a scent. We'll put some up here. See, this one does that shoot like, oh my God, like I see it bounce off my skin. It's shooting so much. Ugh. But I know it's supposed to be what the juice is, right? Right, right, right. This to me predominantly on first spray is mostly passion fruit. I'm not getting any type of coconut sugar. I'm not getting any marshmallow. It literally is like straight passion fruit first spray. It's pretty, but it doesn't wow me. It doesn't wow me. I, I wish, I really wish that marshmallow and that like sugary notes came through more because I think that would be really, really good with passion fruit. Passion fruit is already sweet, but if you really threw in some seriously heavy marshmallow in there, I think it would be beyond decadent. This doesn't scream glazed to me. Vanilla and dreamy, this, oh, that screams glazed. This, not so much, but we'll come back to these after they've had a chance to sit for a minute and we'll see how they're smelling. So Hold that thought. Hold that thought. The next one is Glazed Cool and Bright. Yep, I am digging these bottles. The bottles are cute. 
Scent notes on Cool and Bright is Candied Pear, Frozen Orchid, and Fruity Gumdrops. It's sweet like gumdrops and straight out of a candy store. Now this one doesn't have as bad of a sprayer either. Not like that sucker was shooting like a straight water gun. Now I'm smelling this already. I love this one. I did not think I would initially. It does smell like gumdrops, but you know what else it smells like? Who remembers that violet candy or violet, candied violet sorbet that was by Bath and Body Works? It came out a few years ago, early, early fall, even though it was kind of more like a spring scent. And it came out with honeysuckle peach tea. And I can't remember the other ones, but I want to say it's called candied violet sorbet. That is what this smells like. Because even though it says orchid, I'm getting violet. Like violet has a very distinct scent note and it's in here. I don't, I don't, this is not orchid to me. It is violet. I definitely get a little bit of pear. I do get gumdrops, like those real big fat round gumdrops. They have like the crystallized sugars all over them and they're not hard. They're real soft. That's what I'm picking up in here too. It is a beautiful scent. I'm liking this a lot. And I think the reason I like it so much is because I love that one by Bath and Body Works so much. So it's kind of cool that we have something that smells like pretty damn near identical to Candied Violet Sorbet that Bath and Body Works had a few years ago. I want to say that was like 2020, maybe 2021, but I want to say it was 2020. Yes, I am loving it, but we're definitely going to come back and see how she wears. We'll, she we'll see how she wears. The last one in that collection is Glazed Fresh and Clean. Yep. I was never a fan of the original Fresh and Clean, but these scent notes had your girl intrigued. It is Iced Lemon Sorbet, Pink Apple, and Chantilly Creme. It says on the back, Powdered Sugar Perfection, Fluffy, fresh, and a little frozen. Let's spray a little on there. We'll spray it. Let's, let's do a little more. Just, just a little more. Just a little more. I remember when I hauled this a few days ago. Um, I, I had some thoughts then, but, but we'll get more into it because I've had time to kind of play with them. Uh... Here's the thing. I mostly get pink apple from this on that first spray. I'm not really getting any iced lemon. I'm not getting Chantilly creme in there at all. It predominantly is that pink Lady Gala apple. That's what that smells like. Yeah, it's mostly apple. As it's drying down just the tiniest bit, you do get a little bit of lemon, but apple is the predominant note in here, especially on first spray. Yeah, um, I just wish the lemon was stronger in here. And that cream note, I think this would have been absolutely gorgeous. But we'll let it sit for a few minutes. We'll let it sit. We'll let it sit. Now let's get back over to Vanilla and Dreamy. Now that she's had a chance to sit on the skin for a few minutes. <sighs> Yo, it's so good. It's so good. As it sits, I don't get as much of that um, donut. It's more, it's kind of transferred or transformed into a little bit more of like a coconutty vibe. You definitely get caramel, definitely get vanilla, but that donutty scent is gone from that first spray, but you're still left with a beautiful gourmand scent. And the coconut is done just right. It's not an overly done coconut, so it's not, oh, summery coke. No, 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 no. It's more so kind of in the background, but it definitely is, is more obvious to the sniffer than it is on the very first spray. But it's sweet. It's beautiful. I love it. Highly recommend Glazed Vanilla and Dreamy. She's gorgeous, yo. She's gorgeous. Now, Warm and Cozy Glazed. That's the one that had the passion fruit, coconut sugar, and fluffy marshmallow. <sighs> 
sad to say with this, that beautiful pink passion fruit that you get on first sniff, it kind of dries down almost to nothing. The scent is is there, and here's what it is. The passion fruit's gone, though, now. It's, like, gone. What you're left with is a very light marshmallowy scent. There is where the marshmallow is. It came in way late. The passion fruit was the star and then disappeared. Like, she bounced from the building, baby. Bounced. And you're kind of left with, like, this very light marshmallowy type of a note. I'm not getting any fruity notes. I'm not getting any of that coconut sugar. It's literally like an extremely, extremely light marshmallow. And it's so light. Unfortunately, this one, it disappears on your skin within about a half hour. So I, I'm, I can't recommend this one to y'all. It's just not, it's not good. It's not good, honey. It's not good. Now then, okay, Cool and Bright Glaze, which is that candied pear, the frozen orchid, which I swear is violet, and fruity gumdrops. This is so pretty. I still get exactly the same notes I got upon first sniff. It's kind of blending together a little bit more. So the, the gumdrop is toned down just a tiny bit, and that orchid violet kind of swirls together with those other fruity notes. And it's very pretty, but it still reminds me a ton of that candied violet sorbet from Bath and & Body. And it's beautiful. Now, so far as longevity, I got about maybe an hour and a half out of this one. It wasn't the best, but it was a hell of a lot better than this girl here. Yes, yes, yes. The last one is glazed fresh and clean with that ice lemon sorbet, pink apple chantilly creme. This one kind of surprised me because on that first spray, what you mostly get is that apple. And like I said, it kind of dies down a little bit and you get a little lemon. Now, as it's thoroughly like dried down, that chantilly creme, oh, it's there. It's there. You, it just waits for the dry down, baby. Wait for the dry down. But it is pretty. It's a lighter scent. I probably got about two hours worth of wear out of it. But it is super pretty. The Chantilly Creme really, really comes out on that dry down. I was very surprised by that. And I actually really liked it. I think this would be amazing to layer with other vanilla scents. Even milk from Bath & Body Works, I think, would layer beautifully with this. And I'm really excited that I actually have this because, again, I'm not a huge fan of the original Fresh & Clean. But I like this. I like it a lot. Yeah, so if I had to rank them, absolutely glazed vanilla and dreamy. Followed by the Fresh and Clean because of that Chantilly Creme, y'all. The Cool and Bright because it reminds me so much of that one by Bath and Body. Which is very nostalgic to me because I love that scent. Because that scent, it, it goes back to a story from New York. But long story, I won't bore you to death. But, uh, and then in last, Dead Plast, you know, warm and cozy. She, she was more like bad and shitty. It, it just wasn't there. Like, I'm smelling my arm, and there, it's like there's nothing there. It's only been not even 15 minutes. I wish this was better, but it's not. But you still have these three. Absolutely, I like all three of these. What did you guys think? Have you guys gotten your hands on the Glaze Collection? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love to hear your thoughts, and I, I, I learn a lot from you guys from the comments, like just a lot of different perceptions and this and that. So it's great. It's great. I love your comments. I love them. Good, bad, all of them. I love them all. And uh, don't forget to get over to Banger Beauty by Mary. Get you some mimosa mingle, baby. Mingle, mingle. I'm mingling, mingling. <laughs> and uh, we're at my favorite part, you guys. Ready? Like, comment, 
subscribe and ding the bell so you are alerted every single time I upload, guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.